All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Paolo Costa and Vitor Belfort. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, the undefeated middleweight contender, Paolo Costa. Most would argue this is the scariest power puncher in the 185-pound division at present. And I think for those that would doubt him, he answered a lot of those naysayers in the Yoel Romero fight, outlasting that freak of a man over 15 powerful minutes back in 2019. Paolo Costa appears destined for future greatness, but obviously a big test in front of him here tonight, one he is hoping to pass with Ryan Fighters. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Costa is 29. Belfort is 36. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Yves LeVay. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, Victor Rafinha! And now, did you see his opponent fighting out of the red corner? This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paolo, the eraser, Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. 
went for the inside leg kick. Big ball punch land. So now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Nice leg kick land. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Oh! Deuce Burks, serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. Nice punch there by Costa. Bleeding from his cheek now. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Belfort's kick to the body is blocked. Just missed with the left there. Now connects with the right. Visibly limping here. Let's pressure forward and hit the takedown now. Under two minutes to go. The big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right hand upstairs. Caught the kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Goes to the body there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Costa. Oh! Gets caught with that punch. Got to show up the defense here. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 30 seconds now to go in round one. That one's in the Nice play. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast and always brings his hand right back to his face. Oh, he heard a bad with the jab. Round two next. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe to toe and let it all hang out. Are you ready? Are you ready? Second round underway. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Belfort's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. 
Big kick lands. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Beautiful punch. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you've got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You've got to get the elbows inside. Otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. The shot there is blocked. Oh, nice high kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Unable to connect with a right hook. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Belfort gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Kasuz. So he lands another counter strike here. He's landed several counters in this round, but it's all been set up by his perfect timing, defensively moving the head beautifully off of that center line and setting up his own counter offense. High level stuff out of this young man tonight. Costa gets touched by that kick there. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Powerful leg kick lands. That strike blocked by Belfort. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Costa's face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek, and it's only getting worse. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Big leg kick lands. Costa gets caught with that punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. They continue to exchange. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward.
underway. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Huge block there. Very nice leg kick there by Costa. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Delfort's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Nice loop and punch. That is... Oh, man, this dude is good. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Right hand punch to the clinch. Uh, right punch followed by a left there by Costa. Just misses with that one. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Nice kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Just over three minutes to go. He goes back to that left kick. Oh, he's hurt. hurt! He's got him right here. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, my goodness. He got him. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Belfort. Costa gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Costa's inner thigh a deep shape. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. That one appeared to stun him. Back to the feet. Oh, big left hook there. Costa gets caught with that punch. Oh, straight right. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh, bad. he might be out. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paolo the race All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.